You want you know, you want to we want us to interview you? Martinez, nice, smooth, slick, right-handed fighter. I know Minnesota always has some good fighters, so be exciting to see what uh, he came here with to showcase his skills. Martinez in red. Martinez in red. Sims in blue. Blue gloves, that is. Actually, Sims is wearing gold trunks with red stripes. Yeah, nice clean combination he just landed there, Johnny. Both these fighters, a uh, lot of experience. Nice combination by Martinez and a counter by Sims. Yeah, nice counter by Sims. He doesn't get intimidated, he just goes right back at it. That shows the experience, he doesn't run away. There's an uppercut by him. Tries again with left and right hand. Both guys rangy for this weight class. Evenly matched. Most of the bouts tonight have been evenly matched. Kid from Minnesota has some nice, clean, short, crisp punches, especially uh, on the inside. Martinez is going to have to be careful when he's in close so that he doesn't get countered. Martinez still pressing the action. Marlon Sims likes to try to pinpoint and pick his shots. He's very efficient. He's got almost like a Mayweather type style with where his hands are. Nice, nice footwork. Martinez is gassing a little bit. Well, that's interesting because Sims is doing most of the work here. Yeah, he's uh, he's counterpunching nicely off the back step. Round two. Sims in blue with the yellow trunks and jersey. Martinez in red. Yeah, Sims is wearing the uh, red and gold. That's uh, the colors of Cronk Gym in Detroit. But 
We know he's not from Cronk Gym in Detroit, but those are nice colors. Yeah. Sounds like he's a boxing enthusiast and he wants to live in spirit by adapting the Detroit gym and its fighters. Yeah, the great Emmanuel Stewart. Yeah. Yeah, those are the Kron colors, which are uh, really nice. Sims is controlling this. There's a nice step around by the lefty. He's, he's landing counters and he's stepping around uh, very effectively. Martinez continues to come one forward. by Sims. Yeah, but Sims not. There's another right hand on the back pedal by Sims. There he goes again. He's got Sims in the corner or in the ropes, but Sims walks away. Yeah, Martinez is trying to will his uh, imposes will on Sims, but Sims is a very sharp counter puncher. A lot of smooth slickness, feints, shoulder feints, and uh, Martinez is getting caught a little bit coming in. Well, you know, he, he do looks good, though. So be, well, they're what does the tournament call them, elite boxers? Yeah, I mean, these guys probably have uh, minimum 50, 60 fights. I mean, again, they've been, again, again. They've there been there doing this again. for a few years. Nice. There's a nice, nice combination by Sims. Yeah, I see the head, head gear. There's snap. another one, a nice right hand by Sims. Lowers Martinez's head there. Sims punches are scoring here. Yeah, very crisp too, Johnny, and short and accurate. Yeah. I mean, uh, Martinez is throwing punches, but they either go, go, go off uh, uh, Sims' shoulders or stuff like that. He landed a good uppercut there. Yeah, but just there. Some of those punches, he's got to turn those, uh, get that wrist solid and not slap in those shots. He's definitely determined, but he's eating some clean shots from Sims. See how Sims kind of steps around him, tries to step yeah. around him? Yeah, yeah. But uh, this is a good education for young guys to see this fight because uh, of their skill level. And even uh, Martinez now switches to lefty for a minute. We'll see how long that he stays takes, there. That takes talent. Well, he wasn't doing all that good as a right-hander, so maybe he figures if he mixes it up. Ten seconds left in the round, Johnny. Sims seems to be uh, pouring it on a little bit here to cheer on these young fighters. Round three, Johnny. This is going to be the round that's going to determine who moves on. Sponsors. Sponsors for Chicago Fight Club here in the flesh. Sponsor of the great WBC Amateur League Again, there you Elite go. Tournament. Again. There you go. Stick with gonna, Presidente gonna, Mauricio Suleiman. Nice. Yeah. Nice right hand by Martinez there. Another soft right I'm hand. Sure we'll be seeing uh, Mauricio Suleiman make an appearance before the end of the tournament. Tomorrow. Be nice to see him, the president of the WBC, which is one of the best, if not the best, largest governing body in professional boxing in the world. Wow. Wow. More offices by the WBC in the world than the United States has embassies. We're going to be talking to Wasp. We told him a little more about that after this fight. 156 offices for the WBC, 166. We've got a boxing fan here, Johnny. Go, Blue. Work. Hawks, Hawks, Hawks. Nice. Again. You are so cute, and you're here with Wasp. Is Wasp the boss? That's what I thought. So she's enjoying herself here. So this is a happy time for everybody, adults and the, and the kids as well. Meanwhile, there's a boxing match going on. And um, 
Martina seems to have recovered something. So Gigi's here enjoying the fight. Johnny, who do you got winning this fight? Well, uh, I had um, Sims winning the fight before you grabbed my attention with your uh, with Waspy's comments to you about right. the WBC. So uh, I heard some noise, uh, and then I saw Martinez kind of uh, closing in on his opponent a little bit. Yeah, these Effective. guys are throwing nice shots. Martinez seems to be picking up the slack here. Yeah, he's, he's trying to close the show here, Johnny. Let's There's see a nice right ball. hand by Martinez. Yeah, the guy from Minnesota bobbing and weaving nicely under some punches. So we'll see uh, what the what the judges say. A real humanitarian. Absolutely. Our judges score is about 28-29. One of our judges, 29-28. So the guy from Minnesota didn't come all that way for nothing, Johnny. No, no. My first instincts uh, proved to be uh, one. Hey, we're here live at the WBC Amateur League Elite Boxing Tournament where I'm standing with a winner that just got out of the ring, Marlon Sims. Marlon came all the way from Minnesota to try to cop this tournament. Marlon, give us a little bit of your background, of your experience, and how many fights you've had. Um, I'm pretty new to the sport. Uh, just been in it, only been competing for the last three years. Uh, some people was like, oh, you started too late. I said it's never too late when it's in boxing. You know? uh, what's your age, Marlon? Um, I just turned 25. Okay, and how many bouts have you had? Uh, this right here was my 39th fight. My okay, 39 fight. 39, yeah. Well, yeah. Years, man, I, I go to different places, and I go to different places like this, and I, I travel myself. I spend my own money. Highly skilled. He's very athletic, and a lot of nice counter punching that he was doing. Uh, and I was uh, very impressed with the accuracy of your punches and the patience, and a few of your feints and rolls. So, uh, how do you become so patient after only 39 fights? To be honest, man, it's really just because I plan on the pros. In the pros, you could be a little bit more calm and a little more patient to wait for your shots to make them count. In amateurs, they kind of want to see more action. And I know it kind of sucks because I don't fight that way, but I kind of tailor make myself to do it to make sure I can continue in amateurs. Uh, where in Minnesota are you from? Uh, Minneapolis. Minneapolis. You, you want to shout out to anybody at home, my pop, somebody? Oh, definitely, man. I just got married on my 25th birthday uh, to my wife, Sierra Sims. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And then Sierra I, Sims. Yeah, she got my last name, so yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, to, to my family in the Uppercut Boxing, man, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here right now. So it's Uppercut. The whole staff and every member there is a make it a place for home. Well said, well said. Where is, uh, where is Uppercut Boxing at in Minnesota? Is that near Minneapolis or...? Yeah. Right in Minneapolis, right off of um, Broadway in 94, right off of, in that area. So. Okay, we got any snow up there yet? No, actually, man, and I don't even like the cold. I've been there most of my life, but I'm here. I'm from Chicago, but I moved there. When okay, I was there. well, when are you moving back? Ah, uh, man, I don't. I don't <laughs> I see we'll get you a good job. Yeah, man. <laughs> thank you. So, thank hey, you. congratulations to you. I loved watching your box. I liked the way you stepped around, thank and you. much success to you, um, and happy marriage. Ah, uh, man, thank Enjoy you. Enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all, man. Thank you. We, we coming to take the title, man, definitely. Okay, thank you.